Thanks to our studio audience for joining us today. We'd love to have you here to find out how. All you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the show tab. There's a phone number right there. If you don't have access to the web, call us 443-880-9116. Well, many of us rely heavily on our vacuum cleaners to make sure our homes are in tip-top shape. Did you know, though, it is also important to make sure that your vacuum is in tip-top shape. It could be the difference between a messy or an immaculate home. Joining us today to show us how to do that are Thomas Baker and Danny Rickabaugh, owners of Beyond Vacuums of Delmarva and Dover and Salisbury. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this afternoon. Us. Now, Thomas, I'm going to start with you. Let's start with our vacuums filter, very important part of it. Well, it is very important because your, your vacuum cleaner filter keeps all the dirt where it's supposed to be, which is out of the house. And over time, sometimes very quickly within just a few months, they get very dirty and they, they start to clog up and the vacuum doesn't work right anymore. So it's very important if it's like a washable filter, wash it out. We recommend once a month. If it's a replaceable, replace it about once a year. And we have a picture there. The one on the, the left, I assume, is one that needs replaced. Yes. And the one on the right is one is a brand new one. Yeah. So you want to you change that about once a year, you about say? About once a year. Some filters even need to be changed every six months. I think that one was probably used a little, a little too long more, like yeah. that. <laughs> now, um, we, a lot of us put that uh, powder on our floors to make um, our room smell fresh. And you say that's not necessarily a good idea? A lot of people tend to use too much of it, mm -hmm. and that can damage your vacuum cleaner because it's so fine, it works its way through the filters and even through the bags on the bag machines. And uh, that can damage the motor. If it gets into the motor, it can wear out the bearings and the brushes and things, and that'll end up sending you shopping for a new vacuum yeah. sooner than you want to. Right, right. And if you have pets, that makes it even, you need to keep your filter clean more? Definitely want to keep it clean. That will help with the pet smell. and. Um, keep the filters clean and you know wash them out to keep the smell away. Yeah, because I know if I go without cleaning my filter or changing my filter, my whole vacuum smells like a wet dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely want to do that. Okay, so um, dust on our vacuum. Sometimes we see dust on our vacuum. Is that a problem, Danny? That it is. A lot of times it's, again, back to the filters. You might mm -hmm. want to check your filters, make sure they're washed. If you see dust on the outside, it's most likely leaking from somewhere else and getting on your vacuums. Right. And you can tell when you take your dirt containers or your bags out, there's dirt right. around it or behind it. So if it's landing on our on our vacuum cleaner, it's in the air. It's coming out in the air, and you could actually be breathing it in. So that's an indicator to ch you know have it checked out. Okay. What about the belt in the vacuum? The belts on them. The belts you should change once every six to nine months, depending mm -hmm. on what kind of belt you have. Um, they stretch out over time, and what happens is. When it gets too far stretched out, your roller brush hits the floor, the roller brush might actually stop spinning, but your belt may still be spinning, which causes like a burnt tire smell, mm -hmm. which is a, your past due for changing your belt. Right, right. I have smelled that before. Mm. Another thing, the brushes, the, the beater bar brushes that are underneath the vacuum. Should we uh, clean those? I'd say about once a month, you want to flip mm -hmm. your vacuum over and give it what we call, we like to say, give it a little haircut. Get all mm -hmm. the yarn, the string, the hair, the dog hair, and get it cut out of there so it keeps running efficiently for you. It okay. won't clog up on you. Yeah, we have pictures there. How many have seen that on their vacuum cleaner before? And you just kind of take scissors and, and take cut scissors all that off. Take scissors and Sometimes you might be able to pull it out if you get it early enough. Okay. One thing you guys do is you actually uh, clean the motors. Why is that important? Well, that's important because, like I said, you know, dirt getting into the motor can cause damage to it and wear it out prematurely. So it's very important to keep that dirt away from the motor. You know, keeping your filters clean is definitely the first step. But it's also not a bad idea that every couple months, if you have an air compressor, just give it a quick blowout. Get all that extra loose dust out of there, and it will make your vacuum run better and last longer. Yeah, very good information. You know, it's like your car. you got to take care of it. Exactly. exactly. And it'll run forever. All yep. right, Thomas, Danny, thank you so much for giving us all that information. And if you would like more information on maintenance for your vacuum, go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the Show tab. Up next on Delmarva Life, it's almost time for the third annual Delaware Wine and Beer Festival. It's great wine, beer, food, and fun. Plus, find out what's new this year. And later, Brian's having fun too, being a big kid in yoga class. Brian? Well, Lisa, I'm actually a big kid no matter what I do. You know, yoga has some tremendous benefits when it comes to kids, and some of those benefits may actually be music to parents' ears. We'll tell you all about them when we come back. Stay with us. You're watching Delmarva Life. 